Hello, it's the flea market falcon here. What I do is I soar high above the swamp meet and then I'm swooping in to scoop up the deals. Here at the Webster swap -orama. let's see what we can find. Got a rack of t-shirts here, $5 each or five for 20. This is the only one I'm gonna grab an Undertaker one, nobody's safe. Uh, weird design to say the least it doesn't really look like it should be an undertaker t-shirt but you know for five bucks definitely worth it more wrestling stuff a sting action figure right here that was only five. five bucks yeah. okay i'll grab it so the t-shirt and the figure both five dollars each now this right here is sting not in the best shape but loose this goes for about thirty dollars so you know great score there so you're probably thinking, how the heck did that guy become the flea market falcon? Kind of a gross story. I was hanging out at a flea market. I got food poisoning from a bad ham sandwich. It was infected with falcon fecal coliform. And this is the result. Thank you, thank you. I don't want that, but... Three for ten. For the piece of paper? No. You get the actual uh, cologne? Three perfume, yeah. Uh, $35 online. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I like to go all natural on the on the stick. Yeah. Got one dollar movies here. Ooh, wah -ah -ah. the Zen of Screaming too. Vocal instructions. Now this right here will teach you how to hoot and holler like your favorite hard rock vocalist. In case you're new to the channel, I can change back from Falcon to regular person at will. It's just a little bit painful. So yeah, I listen to rock. I listen to hard rock. Sometimes I want to get extreme. I listen to very hard rock. Got some DVDs and Blu-rays over here. I'll grab this Eric Clapton one if it's a dollar. Hello, how much? I don't know, let's look it up. Oh, if you're gonna look it up, never mind. Thank you. Okay, no problem. So if DVD prices are gonna be based off what they sold for on eBay, I'm not interested. They should really be a dollar each. So much better pricing on the DVDs over here. Two for a dollar. Hopefully there's some good stuff. Grab these four brand new ones right here. The Toy Dark Shadows Sleepy Hollow Double Feature. Shooting Vegetarians. This one seems pretty obscure. Put up by Go-Kart Films. I have heard of Go-Kart Records. Uh, they make punk albums. You know they also put out films. Seems pretty obscure. And this one I've never actually seen, but the trailer will always be stuck in my head. Uh, there's a very obnoxious part. You want to know what's the obnoxious part? I'll never tell. Bag Got a bunch like, of uh, games the here. In, would you, bro? They seem to be priced right, accordingly. Yeah, put over the, uh, oh, there, it is. there is a game binder though. Oh, no, that's not it. How much are the discs in here? Relatively cheap. Yeah. Silent Hill 2 is probably 10 bucks. Uh -huh. Manhunt, 5. I don't know if you wanted the whole pack, I could do I think 20 bucks for the whole thing. 20 bucks for the whole thing? Oh cool. He wants $20 for the whole case, which I'm definitely going to do. I was going to buy this one regardless, Silent Hill 2. Good condition. Hey, thanks buddy. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. So got Blood Rain, Legends of Wrestling, Spy Hunter, Halo, Gauntlet, Manhunt, Gun, Fusion, Frenzy, Dead or Alive, Silent Hill 2, Halo, Pariah, Dead to Rights. How about the Super Nintendo? 40. 40. How about the PS3 and 4 games? Uh, like. Oh, I think they got the best one, so I'll do three dollars each. Three dollars each? Not bad, thank you. What do you do? Two bucks each if I buy ten, so twenty bucks? Okay, twenty-two. Twenty-two? Okay, I'll do that. So twenty-two dollars, nothing too crazy. I bought most of these for myself. Ooh, I can hear a very hard rock band off in the distance performing a concert. <laughs> Got another sack of games here. We have a Mirror's Edge Catalyst in the wrong case. 
I heard this isn't as good as the original, but I do want to try it. Hello. Hello. This is the wrong one in this one. Would yeah. you take two bucks? It's because it's the wrong one. Yeah, this Cool. Not a rare game or anything, but happy to check it out for two bucks. So got a bunch of comics in here and at 10 for a dollar, I'm definitely going to take advantage of that sale. Got some Punishers, X-Men, Lone Wolf and Cub. That's an awesome movie. I'll check out the comic. Grab a bunch of Punisher ones, some Superman, more Punisher, Punisher, Punisher. Bunch of these Witchblade ones, The Darkness. That was a video game actually, Ren and Stimpy. A bunch of these 28 Days Later ones. Okay, I got the box full. What would you say, there's 200 in there? Yeah, 20 bucks. Cool. So great deal for $20 for the entire box. The only bad part is carrying it back to the car. That comic deal for 10 cents each was such a good deal. I went back and bought another box. This one was $10. Got a huge stack of Animal Man. I love this comic right here. Very cool. And some other ones too. Heck yeah. Okay. Oh, this is uh -huh. fast. Hello. Hi. You have all your eggs in one basket. You're actually yeah. not supposed to do that. Oh, oh. I, I already sold some eggs out of there. I would, I yeah, I actually disagree with that expression though. You shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. Because what are you supposed to buy? Like yeah, well, a different ba basket for each egg? What does that mean, really? I'm Walk around with 12 baskets? Well, no, don't put all your eggs. Don't put all your problems in one head. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> give it to somebody else. Give, some, give your problems to somebody else. Right, the expression should be only buy one basket, but make sure it's a really good one. Yes, yeah, sturdy and big. Right. Because <laughs> you never know, you might get some more. Uh huh. That's a little life lesson here on the flea market falcon. Only buy one basket, but make sure it's a good one. It's not, it wasn't. For uh, sure. But it, you know, it came on and everything. I thought it was really cool. Micro and, uh, SD card. It's yeah, called. Okay, okay, okay. Thank yeah. you. Uh, how much are the DVDs? Just um, five for all of them. Five for all of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you take the little thing with you too, <laughs> if you want it. You know. The DVD player? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, I was gonna buy them individual, but yeah. five is cheap enough that uh, yeah. I'll grab them all. Sure. <laughs> little package deal. <laughs> so for five bucks, got an unbranded DVD player. Uh, not sure what the quality will be like on this thing, uh, but it is HDMI, and got some DVDs here. Tiny Tunes, that's cool. I would have probably tried to buy that separate if he didn't offer the whole lot for five bucks. Got some Sesame Street ones. There are new and sealed, some Disney ones. So this guy's had these anime for a while. Any price drop on these yet? Any price drop? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, those are still my asking prices, but... Uh -huh. or something, I'll give you a deal on it. How much for the whole bin of DVDs? The whole bin to this point? I do like a hundred bucks on it. And there's but yeah. tons of them still in there. Might be hard to get the investment back. I'll definitely do like 50. Yeah, I'm gonna do 50. Yeah. <laughs> Are you selling them online or something? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, these prices you got here, they're like 50% of what they're selling for online. Uh huh. So I always go to the soul section. I look stuff up and I stay right in that soul section. Yeah. And I look stuff up. But it's hard with like fees and taxes, and then if someone returns it because they don't work or something. Yeah, I understand all that. Yeah. There's another video out of right here. Yeah, how much does that go for? Is that uh, that show? The last one just sold for thousand. A thousand dollars? Thousand dollars. Two other ones sold for twelve. This is Harry Potter stuff. But what's the, oh, this is Harry Potter. Yeah, it's, it's the Universal Studios. They had this, apparently, I read up on it. They had this lady up on Universal Studios, like full size one. On the side, going around on the cable all around inside the store, uh -huh. the, the, the merchandise store. Yeah. So they made these and they just sold them at the store and they discontinued them pretty quick. Uh huh. But I watched a video of a, of a Harry Potter, he has his own YouTube channel. Yeah. He does nothing but Harry Potter. <laughs> and he's, he called it the whole, one of the holy grails of. <laughs> I sure he didn't mean about the actual prop. No, he had the box. He showed a video of him. Uh -huh. he, he ordered it, and the video was him opening up the package with this in it. 
I mean, he's not wrong. It looks like one sold for a thousand dollars, twelve hundred. Why? Did they not sell many of these? I don't know. They discontinued them. Uh -huh. From what I read about them, for some reason. Uh huh. How much are you asking? I'm asking seven fifty. Uh huh. Should have bought one when it was twenty dollars at Universal <laughs> Studios. <laughs> well, you know, you never know. Right. You didn't know they're going to discontinue them or whatever they made them. You do have some good stuff, just a little bit too high to make the right profit on. Would you do seventy dollars on this bin? I'll take it. Oh, cool. It's had it for a while. Yeah. I'm not sure they would sell. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, everybody likes that stuff, man. Yeah. So got all these right here for $70. I hope I don't regret my purchase, but I do think I'll do pretty good. He says he looked these up and that's how much they sell for complete. Hopefully that's right. So like this one, $50, 25, 25, 15. Got a bunch of 10, $20 ones, 25. I think I'll do pretty good on these. $1 DVDs over here. Of course, gonna grab the Ernest triple pack there and the Total Recall double feature. I, I'm not even sure I've ever heard of this uh, Total Recall sequel, Total Recall 2070. I'm sure it's bad, but I'll check it out. Oh, you got the, the dual piece yeah, for Yeah. That's a steal. It's got 50 like cent box. CDs. How much for the whole box? Keep in mind that only 50 cents each. Uh, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, ten bucks. These aren't all music CDs, so these uh -huh. are just garbage things. If you buy the whole box, you can use these for like clay pigeons. Yeah. Targets for your gun. Okay. <laughs> what do you do, like seven bucks? Yeah, oh yeah. Cool. Beverly Hill Billies. So it looks like when we pack the truck up. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie. This is hard to find on DVD. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So eight bucks with these two? Yes, sir. Eight dollar box right here. Now at the flea market, a lot of the times the CDs aren't really worth looking at, but sometimes you get lucky. Some somewhat obscure stuff here. Lots of 80s hair metal. Now these were popular in the early 90s. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. You put this on your car window and you squeeze this right here and he exposes himself to the cars passing by. Although it seems he's become more modest in his old age. It's not coming down all the way. Extras, I did find this used a few weeks back, but here's a brand new one. This sells for a decent amount, so I'll grab this for five bucks. I'm thinking about making a drawing. Sometimes I make funny drawings. Oh, you do? Uh, well, what I'm thinking about doing the the, the show, everybody. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this drawing yet. Uh huh. But uh, ten dollars with a 35 millimeter camera. Um, but I'm I'm thinking about making a drawing to where I'll actually pour soda on the pizza. To be uh -huh. funny. That would be a big hit. And then they just display that and people will look at it and go, what in the world? Yeah. Would you eat pizza with soda on it? Dipped in soda? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Oh, that way you man. don't even have to chew. And I'm, even though I don't drink soda at all, I'm curious, what's your favorite soda? I would say cherry Coke or cherry flavored cola. It doesn't have to be Coke. Oh, okay. I like uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast when I'm at Taco Bell. That's a nice little treat. And just regular colors are uh, pretty good, and like Sprite is good. So you would actually dip pizza in soda? Oh yeah, that's my preferred method. Wow, you, you've actually done it before. I, I have never not done it. That's every time I eat wow. pizza. <laughs> you gotta try that. Oh, Very good. Good grief, maybe I should. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the movie. Okay. Hey, see you next time. Sure you don't want a bag for it? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Thanks. Okay. So if you like seeing that guy, there's a big long bonus video in the comments section that I'll link. It's on my Patreon page, but you don't have to be a patron to watch. It's open to everyone. Not only do I find out the type of ladies he prefers, I find out his favorite sport and also his favorite actress. We have a very funny conversation on there. It's just way too long to attach to a flea market video, but check it out. I think you'll like it once this video is over, of course. Next spot here, Silver Moon Drive-In Flea Market. Ooh, got a bunch of comics. Uh, seems to be a pretty popular spot. Hopefully they're not too picked through. Ooh, Spider-Man. 
These are a buck each. I'll look through here, see what I can find. So got a bunch of Spider-Man and Venom comics here. 34 issues for 30 bucks, so not much of a bulk discount, but I'll take what I can get. Not huge money makers, but I do collect these, so that's why I bought them. Also grab these right here, the Ultimate Warrior uh, issues one and two. It's just called the Warrior. He actually changed his name to Warrior, which is kind of funny. I'm asking ten on it. You can make an offer. Um, uh, it's it's the Blu-ray and the DVD. Uh -huh. These look like ones that were at a thrift store near my house. All in my home. Oh, they were. Yeah, I have over over a hundred thousand DVDs in my home. Uh huh. I'll give you five. Okay. And you're saying these came from your house? Mm -hmm. And you have over a hundred thousand? Yeah, I have the majority of Disney's. But a hundred thousand, that's a lot. That's got to be like a record. Yeah, we're, I'm constantly going through them now. I decided I haven't been buying any. Uh huh. And you bought those like new? Uh, majority of them, yeah. Wow, that's like a half a million dollar investment at least. It's, it's only stuff. Yeah. And you make money, what, what, what you make money, you make money to buy them. You sell them, sell money. Uh -huh. you, sell, you, sell, you buy stuff. For five bucks, this for sure was a good deal. Fairy tale. So in these DVDs over here, found this one. This is a Harry Potter one from Universal Studios. I don't really know much about this, uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Universal Studios, uh, couldn't really find much information on it online. So I have to assume it came from a gift shop at Universal Studios, but no idea what's on this disc. But I'll grab it for a dollar. So that's going to do it for this episode of the Flea Market Falcon. I do appreciate you watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me a comment, I love hearing from you, and I'll see you next time around. Make sure to watch that bonus video too.